Welcome everyone. In this, we will be talking about cloud solution architect. And one of the things which as a technologist, every architect tend to do is that focus on technology. So I'll put more, more emphasis on business over technology and I'll explain you what is my perspective. Now, when you work with a customer, they are into some sort of business. If they're not a information technology, sort of like a business or a service provider, a solution integrator, uh, ISV, or anything of that sort, which involves building product and solutions using technology, something else, let's assume they're into healthcare, oil and energy, retail, anything of that sort, education, so you need to first really understand their business. Now, when I say understand that business is a big thing, right? You can't really spend two, three days uh, to just understand the whole business of an industry. It is important to understand the core aspect of their business, what they really care about. For example, if you work in a healthcare industry uh, in United States, you have to follow the strong HIPAA compliance. Now, if you ignore that HIPAA compliance part and try to build a whole solution, then it will definitely fail. So you will understand their business, mainly focus on the compliance rules and regulations under which they need to operate. Now, you need to also understand that being a technology company, we really tend to adopt quicker. But for a business who are not into core in information technology kind of business, they adopt bit slowly so you need to be in that pace to be able to help your customer to their cloud journey now the second important aspect is about the differentiator so when you really provide a solution to your customer be it a proprietary uh, cloud vendor specific solution or a multi cloud kind of solution you need to really stand out while your solution really provides you all aspects, not that specific business unit or the application scope, but also an ability to really extend and think beyond and further. For example, how do you integrate your application with other application? How do you that communicates? Because you can't do business in silos. In one given point in time, you might need to fetch some data for, from someone or share some data with your end customer. How do you do that? How do you make that discoverable? If the scope of the business and application really is a consumer facing, so there are a lot more integration scope there because it needs to cross the enterprise identity boundary. So you have to really think from that perspective depending on the nature of the application. The, the last thing I want to talk here is the emphasis on solutioning right so you have 10 different world best technologies you can use now how do you stitch them together all in and try to solve that business problem is what you need to focus on rather than focusing on individual service or product feature like we can add x amount of desk into a virtual machine that doesn't make your uh, product really appealing to the customer and to the business they are doing. What is appealing is the overall solution. What do you do by adding n number of disks to a VM? What is the benefit they're getting? So that is important that we focus more into solution. You might need to integrate with a third party company. You might need to integrate with something which is not proprietary to you, your organization or your vendor you are working for. So what is that solution which helps your customer at the end of the day, as I said, that you understand their business. So it's for them you are doing, it is not for your company. Definitely, if you come from outside, you will be working for a specific company. But when you talk to a customer, you have to really change the hats, right? Swap the hat and then act and try to feel, have an empathy for your customer, try to feel what they're trying to achieve, what is their pain point, how you are solving their business challenges today is what very, very important. Technology is definitely an enabler. We cannot ignore that. 
but it should come much later into the conversation that is what i mean to emphasize here so we cannot ignore technology we cannot ignore business we need both but how do we stitch them together how do we have an amalgamation of business and technology in our solution is the most important aspect so with this thank you very much we'll see in the next episode